running water. Also, with any storms that do develop over the next couple of days, they have the chance to bring some gusty winds, some lightning, some brief heavy rainfall, and potentially some small hail. Well, today is a big day for the Jazz with the NBA Draft Lottery. Jazz have a 50% chance of staying in the ninth spot. They also have a 4.5% chance of moving up to number one. Fox 13's Andrew Urban joins us live now with the Jazz fans. How they're feeling about tonight's NBA Draft Lottery. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. So I caught up with Jazz fans outside of that lucky ninth and ninth whale and outside of the Utah Jazz Arena, soon to be the Delta Center. And they pretty much told me they're optimistic that this is what they've been waiting for. And all of them feel like this organization deserves that number one pick. I mean, you can't go wrong with this look. How much would that help this organization to take the number one spot? Well, first off, it starts off with the fans. You know, the fans got to be 100% supportive to the organization. They got to, you know, want this. They got to want this. For Utah. The Jazz have never, ever won the lottery before in the history of this franchise, so I do think it would be nice. Adam Silver, give, give the Jazz a chance, please. I mean, we have a great base built off last year, Team 49, but to get that number one pick, especially one that's as highly touted as uh, Victor, would be just organization changing. Look, I think the run and gun of the youth uh, is really, really exciting. You, you look back a couple of years ago and the big trades that we made that got us the picks, this is what we're looking forward to. A lot of mentions of a Victor Wembanyama, Cam Whitmore, and plenty more. But here's what the thing is, is those players are just going to add more to this already youthful Utah Jazz roster. So the future is very bright as we head into the 50th anniversary. Live from Zions Bank Basketball Campus, Andrea Urban, Fox 13 Sports. Yeah, thanks, Andrea. The main prize, Victor Wembanyama, the seven-foot five French phenom. Watch him here. Misses the three. Then he follows his own miss with the dunk. Just incredible. He can dribble like a guard, shoot the three, finish at the rim, and he's an outstanding player on defense. He's a generational player that would elevate the Jazz franchise immediately. So, yeah, tonight is huge. The UFC announced that they're returning to Salt Lake City this summer with another big event at the Delta Center. UFC President Dana White just told us about it on UFC 292. We're going back to Salt Lake City, Utah, and... I want to thank our partners at the Utah Jazz and Smith Entertainment Group for hosting UFC 291 on Saturday, July 29th from the Delta Center. The main event will be five rounds between the number two and number three.